لقد كان في قصصهم عبرة لأولي الألباب ما كان حديثا يفترى ولكن تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل كل شيء وهدى ورحمة لقوم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome back to another episodes of the lives of the prophets so far we've covered so many of these stories alhamdulillah and found so many benefits Hisham we're back again today alhamdulillah we got the viewers watching we got you we got me and of course we have a beautiful sheikh mashallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa alaikum salam we have a beautiful sheikh as you said mashallah tabarakallah the sheikh with the big smile الشيخ سعيد القادي السلام عليكم شيخ وعليكم السلام بارك الله فيك الله الحمد لله بارك الله فيكم ما شاء الله تبارك الله بليجر تو هاف يو هير تودي الله يبارك فيك جزاكم الله خير الحمد لله ناو وي ريتش ذا ستوري اوف ذا بروفيت شعيب سبحان الله الله اكبر ذيس از ا بليسد بروفيت اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى ودي بو بليست وين ذي ما شاء الله تبارك الله سو اي مين You can ask me one special thing about Sheikh Shaib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I ask a question? Okay. I'll answer it. I'll answer it. That's it. Begin again, Allah. Begin again. Okay, no wannabe. Yeah, he's asking a question. No, no, begin the whole thing, Allah. No, no, we can just come back to the question from you. Okay. It's good. So, Sheikh, what was the special thing about Shaib, alayhi salam? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين All praise you to Allah alone. We praise Him, thank Him, seek His guidance and His forgiveness and we repent to Him. Uh, Shu'ib, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon Him. He is one of the uh, most articulate uh, prophets. Ah, mashallah. Uh, that's why the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said uh, that Shu'ib is the khatib of the Anbiya, is the speaker of the prophets. Shu'ib is one of the prophets who, uh, who is from the Arab nation. Um, like uh, Prophet uh, Salih and Prophet Hud and uh, Prophet uh, Shu'aib and the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are all Arab. Uh, Shu'aib, Salih, Hud and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are all uh, from the Arab nation. And do you, have, do you have examples of what nations the other prophets are from, Sheikh? From Bani Israel. Most of them from Bani Israel. Okay. Oh, yes. Children of Israel, Israel. Israel. Yes. Yes. But Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala in the Quran said, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the prophethood uh, in the uh, progeny of Ibrahim alayhi salam and the uh, progeny of uh, Nuh alayhi salam. We made the uh, prophethood and the, the revelation of Allah's books in their progeny. MashaAllah. So Shaykh, we heard that Shu'ayb alayhi salam was sent to the people of Madian. Mm-hmm. But what is the relationship between Madian and the people of Aika, are they the same people? Yes, they are the same people. People of Median and people of Aika. Some people say that they are different people. However, if we read the uh, verses that are speaking about both nations or both stories, they are the same people. Mm. People of the Aika are the people of the Median. Okay. Because they had, they had the same problems, the same um, bad deeds that they used to do. Uh, but the Aika is a tree that is in Median. Median is a place uh, in near Sham near uh, Syria. They used to live there. Uh, and uh, Shu'aib, may Allah's peace be upon him, was sent to them. Okay, subhanAllah. MashaAllah, tabarakAllah. Okay, we have uh, a question now for the audience, don't we? Our favorite part of the show. Yes, MashaAllah. This is where we go out and we talk to the people to find out how much knowledge they had about the topics that we're discussing. So today's question is, what was the main message of the Prophet, Prophet Shu'aib alayhi salatu wasalam? So let's head over now and find out what the people had to say. The main message of uh, Prophet Shu'aib, right? I don't know if he was the prophet, the one with the camel, but obviously his message would have been what well, all the prophets had the same message was like believe in one God, Tawheed. Um, so yeah, that's what his message: believe in the one God, forget your idols. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's that's all I got. Uh, Shu'aib. Uh, as uh, all prophet been saying, it's uh, la ilaha illallah, believe in just one Allah. And the best I can understand was that this, uh, the prophet, all the prophet was sent for one message only to uh, worship 
one one God. And that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. Okay, so an interesting array of answers there, subhanAllah. Sheikh, the message of Shuaib was to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and to forget about the idols. Is this correct? That's right, yeah. Uh, all the prophets came with the same message to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and to abandon the worship of the idols. Uh, but beside this, Shuaib salam also was sent to correct some uh, bad practice, a wrong practice of his people. Uh, that is, they used to um, decrease the measure. And they used to be unjust in their way uh, and the scales. Okay. Uh, so he came to admonish them and also to advise them that this practice is wrong and uh, they have to uh, stop doing it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Quran mentioned this saying وَإِلَىٰ 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 مَدِيَنَا خَاهُمْ شُعَيْبًا People of the Median, their brother Shu'ayb. قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ عَبُدُ اللَّهَ مَا لَكُمْ مِنْ إِلَٰهٍ غَيْرُهُ Oh my people, worship Allah. You have no God worthy of worship but Him. وَلَا تَنْقُصُ الْمِكْيَالَ وَالْمِيزَانِ And do not decrease the measure or the scale. إِنِّي أَرَاكُمْ بِخَيْرٍ وَإِنِّي أَخَافُ عَلَيْكُمْ عَذَابَ يَوْمٍ مُحِيطٍ I see you in prosperity. You have a, a nice life. You, are, you have a prosperity in your life. Uh, so do not do this practice. So you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to let you enjoy your prosperity. Don't do this. Uh, otherwise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish you with a punishment of a day that will encompass everything. Allah musta'al. وَيَا قَوْمِ أَوْفُوا الْمِكْيَالَ وَالْمِيزَانَ بِالْقِسْطَ وَلَا تَبْخَسُوا النَّاسَ أَشْيَاءَهُمْ Oh my people, uh, give full measure and weigh with justice and do not take the right of people without any right. Don't take any or do not deprive people from their, their due right. وَلَا تَبْخَسُوا النَّاسَ أَشْيَاءَهُمْ وَلَا تَعْثَوْا فِي الْأَرْضِ مُفْسِدِينَ And don't cause mischief on earth. بَقِيَّةُ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ What Allah Ta'ala has given you is better for you. In this life are also what Allah Ta'ala promised you in the hereafter. It is better for you if you are believers. Sincere advice, Shaykh. Subhanallah. What did they say to him? Subhanallah. قالوا يا شعيب أصلاتك تأمرك أن نترك ما يعبد آباؤنا Oh شعيب is your prayer that you practice it that, that, that prayer is commanding you so that we, that, uh, that we leave what our parents used to, used to worship uh, is your prayer afflicting you like this so that you are uh, saying foolish things that we leave what our parents used to do? Subhanallah. أصلاتك تأمرك أن نترك ما يعبد آباؤنا أو أن نفعل في أموالنا ما نشاء Or your salah, your prayers, is controlling us in what we do in our trade and business. Let's do what we want to do. إنك لأنت الحليم الرشيد Meaning they are just mocking him now here. Saying you are the... Forbearing, and you are the clement person, and you are the only one who's right minded. Oh, okay, okay, subhanallah. Meaning that they, what they say, that we're rejecting what you're saying. I think that your salah that you're doing has uh, affected you so much. Okay, so that you're talking uh, insane and saying things that are not proper. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. This is how they replied to him. Total mockery, Shaykh, of a prophet of Allah. Allah uh, al this is the uh, nature of people when they are uh, approached by prophets who are sincere to them uh, and they come in for their own, benefit, for their, for their, for their own benefits, Allah Musta'al. And Shaykh, when exactly was this uh, period uh, of Shu'ayb? Yeah, when was this in history? Uh, Shu'ayb was sent right after Lut Okay, subhanAllah. And that's why he will uh, say later on, in the same chapter, he will say, وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شِقَاقِي أَنْ يُصِيبَكُمْ أَنْ يُصِيبَكُمْ مِثْلُ مَا أَصَابَ قَوْمَ نُوحِ He's saying to his people that do not let the enmity between me and you 
and the disagreement between me and you to let you disobey me and then you will you will be struck like the people of Nuh or oh, the people of Hud or the people of Salah and then he said وَمَا قَوْمُ لُوْطٍ مِّنْكُمْ بِبَعِيدٍ وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شِقَاقِ أَنْ يُصِيبَكُمْ مِثْلُ مَا أَصَابَ قَوْمَ نُوحٍ أَوْ قَوْمَ هُودٍ أَوْ قَوْمَ صَالِحٍ وَمَا قَوْمُ لُوْطٍ مِّنْكُمْ بِبَعِيدٍ Do not let the, the, uh, the enmity between me and you or that disagreement between me and you to let you disobey me and reject my message and then you'll be struck with a punishment like that one which has struck the people of Nuh or the people of Hud or the people of Salih and the people of Lot are not far from you. Some of the ulama said that the, that, uh, the mother of Shu'aib, may Allah's peace be upon him, was the daughter of Lot. Allah daughter Allah. of Lot. But however, the people of uh, Shu'aib were very close to the people of Lot. So does this mean that the, the, the Shu'aib was also in the same period of Ibrahim Yes, Shu'aib was in the same period of Ibrahim alayhi salam, uh, the same period of Ya'qub alayhi salam. SubhanAllah. Yeah. Shaykh, they did not fear the, the punishment of Allah that at, may come to At him. all, SubhanAllah. They were uh, mocking him. Yeah. Allah Musta'an. Uh, Allah Musta'an. So what did he say to them? Shu'aib, may Allah's peace be upon him. He said to them, Ya Qawm, O oh my people, uh, uh, when they when they said that uh, oh Shuaib you are weak amongst us, and if you don't have if you if, uh, if you don't have uh, a strong uh, uh, relatives would have uh, uh, killed you, they stoned you. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So they said to him, قالوا يا شعيب ما نفقه كثيرا مما تقول. Oh Shuaib, we don't understand much of what you are saying. Allah. Although Shu'aib was very articulate. SubhanAllah. Sheikh, on this particular point, mm. I think there's a lot more we can get out of it, inshallah. inshallah but inshallah. after the break, Bidin because Allah. we have to take Bidin some Allah. time out, inshallah. SubhanAllah, I was mm. enjoying that. Ah, mm. I'm sure everyone else at home is also enjoying it. But don't worry, we'll be back right after this break, so stay tuned and join us again for con the continuation of the lives of the Prophets. Stay with us. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, this is Gabriel Romani. Join me along with Brother Asif, my co host, as we present Ramadan Spirit three times a week Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from the UAE, alhamdulillah, 5 to 6 p.m. local time. A variety of topics, a variety of guests. We need your contribution, we need you to participate. This is a live show, we're gonna make it better and bigger than last year, inshallah. So we all benefit in this beautiful month of Ramadan, the month of repentance. Join us live from Huda TV. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, before the break, we were talking about Shu'aib alayhi salam and his argument with his people. Okay? And the way that his people tried to mock him and responded to him, claiming that they did not understand anything. Allah Even though he was the most eloquent prophet, subhanAllah. Shaykh, what was his response to that? Well, Shu'aib alayhi salam called them to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَيَا قَوْمِ اسْتَغْفِرُ رَبَّكُمْ ثُمَّ تُوبُوا إِلَيْهِ إِنَّ رَبِّي رَحِيمٌ وَدُودٌ Oh my people, repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seek forgiveness from him. And return back to him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. They said to him, O oh Shu'aib, we don't understand much of your saying. Although Shu'aib was one of the most articulate prophets, subhanAllah. قَالُوا يَا شُعَيْبُ مَا نَفْقَهُ كَثِيرًا مِمَّا تَقُولُ Oh Shu'aib, we don't understand much of what you are saying. وَإِنَّا لَنَرَاكَ فِينَا ضَعِيفًا And we consider you amongst us a weak person. وَلَوْ لَا رَهْطُكْ We're not for your family. لَرَجَمْنَاكْ We'd have stoned you. وَمَا أَنْتَ عَلَيْنَا بِعَزِيزِ You are not dear to us and we don't respect you. As simple as that, subhanAllah. Plainly like this. But Shu'aib alayhi salam now here, 
he got upset because those people they are respecting his family, they are respecting his, uh, his 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 household or his um, relatives because they are strong, and they are forgetting Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Allah Akbar. They are forgetting that he is a messenger of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. He immediately replied to them saying. قال يا قوم أرهطي أعز عليكم من الله Oh my people, my family are, uh, oh my people are dearer to you and more respected to you than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala واتخذتموه وراءكم ظهريا And you left Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behind you left, left his orders behind you, left his commands behind you وَاتَّخَذْتُمُوهُ وَرَاءَكُمْ ظِهْرِيًّا So uh, Shu'aib a.s. was very upset of their response and their, uh, their arrogance towards him and towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they, did they try to drive him out, yeah? Yes, they tried. They tried to drive him out him and everyone who believed in him. Like the people of Lord when they said exactly, drive him out. Exactly, subhanAllah. And they tried to, 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 to take him and his properties and likewise the properties of all the believers and they tried to force them out of the city. لَنُخْرِجَنَّكَ يَا شُعَيْبُ مِنْ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَكَ مِنْ قَرْيَتِنَا We shall drive you out, O Shu'aib, and everyone who believed in you from our village. أَوْ لَتَعُودُنَّ فِي مِلَّتِنَا Or you will have to return back to our religion. And subhanAllah, Shaykh, were there many followers? He had followers. He had followers, subhanAllah. Then oh. Shu'aib replied to them in a very wise answer. قال قال أولو كنا كارهين. What if we detest what you're doing? What you're doing is wrong, and we hate it because they are giving him no option. Either you go out from our uh, city, or you return back to our religion. You and everyone who believed with you. Subhanallah. They give him an ultimatum, Sheikh. Allah Musta'an. In or out. In or out. But he, Subhanallah, he gave them as well another message here, another uh, strong stance. He said to them. قَدْ افْتَرَيْنَا عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا إِنْ عُدْنَا فِي مِلَّتِكُمْ We would have uh, been among those who would lie upon Allah Ta'ala if you return back to your religion. قَدْ افْتَرَيْنَا عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا إِنْ عُدْنَا فِي مِلَّتِكُمْ بَعْدَ إِذْ نَجَّانَ اللَّهُ مِنْهَا After Allah Ta'ala saved us from this. وَمَا يَكُونُ لَنَا أَن نَعُودَ فِيهَا إِلَّا أَن يَشَاءَ رَبُّنَا إِلَّا أَن يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ رَبُّنَا And we would have never, we will never return to your religion unless if Allah Ta'ala wills. So it's a very strong stance, Shaykh. Allah, Allah, Allah Akbar. This is the stance of all the prophets. When it, when it comes to their religion, when it comes to changing their principles, they, are always, they were always firm. Very firm, subhanAllah. So did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punish them, Shaykh? Obviously, obviously. When they uh, totally rejected Shuhayb alayhi salam, and even they said to him, bring to us the Allah's punishment. Uh, if you are truthful, uh, Shuhayb alayhi salam, uh, and they, 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 tried, they tried to drive him out from, his, from the city, him and all the believers with him, then uh, Shuhayb alayhi salam uh, prayed against them. Uh, when Shu'ai prayed against him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to them the punishment. And the punishment was subhanahu wa ta'ala so uh, powerful. Allah ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to them uh, a scorching heat. Allah. Allah. What does that mean? Uh, it means that the, the city was full of heat and the wind stopped. The no wind is not moving anymore. No coolness. No coolness at all. For seven days. So they, they were uh, tortured with heat. Subhanallah. Oh, and then they saw like a black cloud outside the city. They all of them went out of the city towards the, under the black cloud just to, to have some shade and to enjoy the rainfall. But subhanallah, that cloud th threw on them fire. Uh, and thunderbolts, subhanAllah. 
الله اكبر and then Allah Ta'ala sent to them as well the صيحة صيحة is the awful cry the awful cry which, which caused the earth to shake and then they were all annihilated سبحان الله سبحان الله الله اكبر imagine يعني very very يعني very uh, painful punishment فعلا. الله سبحانه وتعالى said كأن لم يغنوا فيها as if they have never lived there that prosperity and that nice living as it was not there. كأن لم يغنوا فيها ألا بعدا لمدين may Allah distance مدين and everyone was there part of the believers كما بعد الثمود like the people of Thamud were distanced away from Allah سبحانه وتعالى سبحان الله it's a reoccurring theme Shaykh people are disobedient to Allah Allah sends them a prophet, a messenger, sometimes with a miracle, with very, very strong, very, very strong advice. They reject it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah his, his punishment comes. Exactly. And Shu'aib was sent with many, 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 many uh, uh, evidences. That's why in, 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 in many surahs, Shu'aib says, A clear evidence from your Lord has been revealed to you, subhanAllah. Inshallah. So, Shaykh. Uh, Shuaib, was he saved there? Was he, did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save him and his people? And uh, what, what happened to them? Shuaib alayhi salam was saved with the believers, alhamdulillah. And moreover, Shuaib was not regretful of them. Shuaib alayhi salam was not regretful of their destiny. Allah ta'ala in the Quran mentioned his uh, comment once he saw the, 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 the painful punishment upon his people. He said, فَتَوَلَّى عَنْهُمْ وَقَالَ يَا قَوْمِ لَقَدْ أَنذَرْتُ لَقَدْ أَبْلَغْتُكُمْ فَتَوَلَّى عَنْهُمْ وَقَالَ يَا قَوْمِ لَقَدْ أَبْلَغْتُكُمْ رِسَالَاتِ رَبِّي وَنَصَحْتُ لَكُمْ O oh my people, he left, he turned away from them, and he said to them, O oh my people, I have conveyed to you the message of my Lord. Oh. وَنَصَحْتُ لَكُمْ And I was a sincere advisor to you. فَكَيْفَ آسَى عَلَىٰ قَوْمٍ كَافِرِينَ I will not be regretful upon people who used to be, who used to disbelieve. I used to reject Allah's message. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So there's a lot to learn here, Allah. I think in the next couple of minutes, it'll be very important for us to learn or to, to take some advice, Sheikh, from the, from the, uh, the story of Shu'aib, Sheikh. What advice can we learn from him? Well, uh, the main advice here is that uh, Islam or the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not about only worshipping Allah ta'ala. Of course, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the main uh, aspect. But then it comes as well to be just to people, not to cheat, cheat, cheat people. Uh, people of Shu'aib used to be uh, highwaymen. They used to uh, rob people on the highways. And also, they used to be as well uh, they used to uh, cheat in the measure and cheat in the scale. So Allah Ta'ala sent a messenger to them to admonish them and to advise them on this great uh, wrong action. SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. So Shaykh, today we see many people, Muslims mm. with businesses flourishing and so on. And you know, you mentioned the scales, SubhanAllah. And it just makes me um, conscious of the fact that we should be encouraging and maybe drawing a lesson to, to encourage business holders to be just in their business and how they interact with people. You know, how this, this being just with the customers who might be Muslims or non-Muslims might be a means of their guidance through the justice that Muslims uh, are showing. That's right. That's uh, rightly said, subhanAllah. Not that only in Nabi Sallallahu he didn't give us any choice. Prophet of Allah Sallallahu did not give us any choice. He said to us, whoever cheats, is not from us. SubhanAllah. The, the hadith came in two narrations, whoever cheats us, and then another one, whoever cheats. And the ulama said that it applies on all people. As a Muslim, you're not allowed to cheat anybody. Whether he's a Muslim or non-Muslim. You have to be, have to be very honest, and you have to, you'll have to uh, be very just. Uh, you have to be very truthful. And if you want blessings in your trade or business or uh, any matter that, that you do in your life, you'll have to be very uh, truthful and very as well honest in whatever you uh, do of business. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to be just and 
really proper in the way that we Amen. deal with our affairs and with the people around us. You know in the hadith, فَإِنْ صَدَقَ وَبَيَّنَا بُورِكَ لَهُ بِعِهِمَا If the two people who are in transaction of sale, if they are truthful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, bless their business and the trade and the transaction. If they are truthful, that means if they're truthful in whatever they describe, and they are, uh, they, 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 they don't hide anything, they don't conceal anything. Okay, Allah Ta'ala will uh, bless their transaction. But if they, if they lie or if they conceal something, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala will uh, remove the blessing from their transaction. SubhanAllah Ta'ala. So the, if you believe in Allah's blessings, you believe in Allah's uh, uh, reward in this life also, before the hereafter, that Allah Ta'ala is the one who can expand our provision, then we have to take the right uh, steps and the right uh, ways and methods. That is to be honest and to avoid cheating at all and to be just in, in, in measuring and everything. Allah. May Allah give us the ability to do so. Um, our time has run out, subhanAllah, Shaykh. Allah We've really enjoyed the, our time with you, subhanAllah. May Allah bless you, everyone. Barakallahu feek. Barakallahu feek, Shaykh. So inshallah ta'ala, brothers and sisters, we have to leave it here today, inshallah ta'ala. We've run out of time. Until next time, inshallah ta'ala, from all the Shaykh and the brother here and myself, we give you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. لقد كان في قصصهم عبرة لأولي الألباب ما كان حديثا يفترى ولكن تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل كل شيء وهدى ورحمة لقوم يؤمنون